plucked off. So uh, this is a sheep pluck. So everything from the trachea, where the sheep's head would be up here, down to the diaphragm, down this way, is what's included in the sheep pluck. So right now, we're looking at the ventral portion. So the sheep, if it were laying down, its legs would be standing up. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, if we turn it over, this is the posterior or dorsal side. It looks like a stingray. Um, this is when the sheep would be standing on its all four legs. Okay. So this is what side of the lungs? Dorsal. Posterior. So that means that the other side is anterior. All right, also remember before when we were talking about the heart, it sits in between the lungs. What area is that called? Mediastinum. Mediastinum, okay. And then the heart's surrounded by this tough tissue known as what? Pericardium. Pericardium. The pericardium or pericardial sac. We didn't see that last time because we only saw the hearts, but you can see it here. This is the pericardial sac. All right, so what we want to do, since we're focusing on the lungs today, we want to try to take out the heart along with the pericardial sac. And you can actually see where the pulmonary trunk attaches to the pulmonary arteries along the lungs. So let's try to start taking this out. There's going to be a lot of juice flying, so be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. No, wait. It's not going to <laughs> Don't do anything for now. So, keep your mouths closed. So whoever, well, <laughs> whoever wants to dissect a heart, um, I'll leave this for you guys. <laughs> so now we have to clean this up because we have a lot of the base still connected, and we're not really interested in that this time. And this is just a lot of the fatty stuff surrounding the pericardial sac. <laughs> I'm clumsy. <laughs> but when it comes to dissections, it's all right. Oh, you should just use this Yeah. <laughs> all right. So this is what we were looking at, that drawing that I have up on the board. Pretty much this is what it is. We have this structure, the trachea. This is the air passageway. What is this tough tissue on the exterior? The hyaline cartilage. The hyaline cartilage. Right, so we want to go with the general term. Hyaline cartilage surrounds the entire trachea. So it gives it its form, its structure, and the kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's hard. And then on the inside, what type of uh, respiratory epithelium do we have? Pseudostratified ciliated, 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 ciliated columnar epithelium. So remember I told you guys before, if you take a glove and run your finger along the inside of the trachea, you can feel the cilia. It kind of catches onto your glove if you guys want to do that. Make sure you have a glove. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So yeah. All right. So... 
The trachea then divides into the main bronchi. The main bronchus or bronchi is the first part where you can feel the cartilage entering the lungs. So right here. And uh -oh. let's see. I'm gonna start to divide these also. All right, before we see that, what is this tissue or the structure here that looks like a uh, steak? Mm, this is the diaphragm. So the diaphragm in a live sheep or live human should stretch all the way across from one lateral end to the next. But because it's been preserved, it becomes kind of like well done steak. Mm. <laughs> and shrinks up, yeah. All right. So again, let's look for the main bronchus. <laughs> and more than likely, it is that. Okay, so we know it's the main bronchus because we have the cartilage that kind of continues on into the lungs. All right, and if I stick this down the trachea, oops, it'll go all the way into the lungs. Okay, so if the air is that probe, you can imagine it goes into the lungs, into the bronchioles, into the alveoli. Good. All right, so now let's try to separate these guys. Okay. Again, we're looking at the ventral side, right, or the anterior side. So, which is the left lung? Which is the right lung? Right lung. Right. Right lung. Left lung. And how do we know if we see them separately? Number of lobes. lobes. Number of lobes. All right. So the left side of the heart or lungs has two lobes. So here's one lobe. What is this lobe? Superior, superior lobe. lobe. Left, left superior, superior lobe. lobe. And left the inferior, inferior lobe. lobe. Left inferior lobe. Good. And then here we have what is this lobe? Right superior. superior. Right superior. Right superior lobe. What is this lobe? Right, right middle. middle. Right middle lobe. And finally? Right inferior. Right inferior, right inferior lobe. Right. Okay, so then we want to look at the structures right around here. So this is the hilum or hilum of the lungs. It's the hilum because this is where all of the tubes go into. So the trachea branches off into the main bronchus, and then we also have the pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein. All right. So remember with the uh, the vessels. Which one had a thicker tunica media? The arteries. the arteries. And it should hold its own shape. So this right here, this is the pulmonary artery. <laughs> uh, you can see, because it has a pretty thick lining, it holds its own shape. Also, it's superior to the main bronchus. Okay, and then inferior to the main bronchus, we have this really thin looking vessel right here, and it's rather large in comparison to the pulmonary artery. What vessel is that at the red? Pulmonary vein. Vein. Pulmonary vein. So at the blue, we have the pulmonary 
artery. At the red, we have the pulmonary vein. And then it's also color-coded because pulmonary artery has ox or deox blood. Oxygenated. Pulmonary artery has deoxygenated, deoxygenated because it's still heading to the lungs. Pulmonary vein has oxygenated blood because it picked up the oxygen from the lungs. Uh -huh, it's a special circulation. So then at the yellow, thank you. At the yellow, we already went over that. What structure is that? It's the main bronchus. Okay, and then this entire area here where all of the pins are is the what region? Hilum. Hilum. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then this side, you can also differentiate between these. And I'll use the same color. All right, so the main bronchus is right here, right? And then we have the vessel that's superior to the main bronchus. What is that? Artery. The pulmonary artery. Don't just say artery. We're talking about specifically the pulmonary artery because we're talking about pulmonary circulation and pulmonary respiration. And then inferior to the main bronchus, we have this very thin vessel, pulmonary vein. Good. All right. So besides that, again, we're looking at the anterior side of the lungs. What if we flip it over? Posterior side of the lungs. So if it looks like a stingray, you're looking at the posterior side and it's smooth, it actually feels like a stingray. <laughs> and then if you flip it over, and there's no smoothness at all, and you can see the hilum, or hilum, then we're looking at the anterior side of the lungs. Now be able to differentiate between right and left lungs and their specific lobes. So, what if I turn this over like this? What lobe is that? Left superior. superior. Left superior lobe, because it's smaller than the left, left, inferior. left inferior lobe. And if I turn it this way, you can tell which is superior and which is inferior, because superior is normally near the pulmonary artery, left superior lobe, and the inferior is normally near the pulmonary vein. Okay, so then that means on this side, what if we flip it? And you can see these, the distinction between all three. So there's, what lobe is that? Right superior. Right superior, right superior. Right superior lobe. Right, right middle lobe. lobe. Right middle lobe and? Right, right inferior. inferior right inferior lobe. Good. Is there anything else that you guys have on your study guide? Uh, what are the fish, what are they called fish? Um, the horizontal and oblique fissures, those are going to be found on the Joey models. Oh, okay. But you can actually see them here if you want. The fissures have the separated. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So this is a fissure oblique. that separates the lobes. Separates the oblique, fissure. oblique fissure. And then we have horizontal fissure here and the oblique fissure. Okay. So I would recommend trying to try to put on a glove and feel it because it's pretty cool. It's like a sponge. Oh. Where'd that go? It's right here. Oh <laughs> That's going to be on the video. Well, it's really